welcome back to another video guys we're going to do a collector edition unboxing so that you guys will see what you get for your money and you can decide that way whether it's worth or not for you to get the collector edition uh, or not so first thing when you buy them um, in this case I'll buy both so you can see both uh, and I buy them anyway so we'll go over the small one and the big one so after you buy them they come into your mail and as you can see they give 10 memory modules for the small one 20 mana batteries and then the pack with the pets and some dominion tools and replicators quadruple replicators that is and the bigger one has 30 memory modules uh, 60 mana batteries and then also the bigger pack with everything included and then you get a special toy as well for having both both of them in one go for to note here that you do have to buy the pack that has two of them in one and not one at a time to get that toy all right so let me go over the items that we got here on pay to play so the memory modules uh you can use them to change your ability skills so to change abilities it's going to cost you memory modules here and every time you click one press ok you will change it and cost you five memory modules now these cost quite a bunch of money and that's why people don't like to switch the skills or it's quite expensive but from the collector edition it saves you quite some money so we got 40 of them and they cost about 16,000 each so you save quite a lot of money you save <coughs> 647 648,000 gold from the collector edition so yeah that is quite an advantage you get from the collector edition in pay to play terms because gold here really has a value same for mana batteries, you get about 80 I believe now, you can buy them for 8k each here, so it's about the same value since it's 80 and then 40 and it's about half the price. So it's also about 648,000 that you save there, so that's already 1.2 million gold. So much money! Wow! Worth of items that you get from the collector edition uh, for your assault shell, so that is quite big. Next up we have the small pack, so the Magical Metamorphosis Collector Edition, this is a small pack. So you get the sealed tool pack, now try not to just waste this, this is quite valuable. This is giving you 20 Dominion tools, these are the same tools you get from the weekly resets, from having done Dominion with your guild. And then there's little pet rainbow eyes. And then the pet looks like this. It's a little flying butterfly thingy. As you can see. I mean, it looks very well animated. Yeah, it looks pretty. But that's it. It's just vanity. It just follows you around. And it does nothing more. They used to, I believe, to collect edition once at least, become looter pests as well. Yep, there we go. So it's also a looter pet. So when you just simply activate this going to start looting stuff for you uh, yeah then the bigger pack we have here is going to give you quite some more shit you have the nymphalid keychain which is a new wraith skin this is also a mount so if you don't have a wraith at all it will be a full-fledged mount for you and uh, it's going to be right here uh, where's the wraith here we go this is a new skin now the cool thing about this mount is that the color changes depending on whether it's day or night so in blue it's apparently blue now or over day and when it's night it's going to be orange-ish very very cool and it looks pretty nice as well it looks pretty reminds me a bit more of uh, the Irene days see the color here changes slightly when I change around the view so they did some color stuff here very interesting next up we have the other pet the horn worm so when we equip that one it's simply a slightly bigger version of the there it is slightly bigger version of the butterfly thingy looks very cool as well just bigger rings and more colorful wings 
Next up we have a silky imago wing, so that's the costume part here that goes with this costume chest. So that's a costume piece and then this is the costume chest with some more costume pieces and this is the costume that comes with it. Let me just change class real quick because the headset doesn't work on the idoy. Alright, having changed class now to a Prylin, we can properly show how it looks like. This is the costume that you're going to be getting. Looks pretty cool, it uh, reminds me a lot of shit in armor. Um, so you can be a bug, I guess. This would have gone really really well uh, for Eden, so it's definitely in the team of Eden, because we're still in the Eden patch. No, actually we're in Isa patch, so I'm kind of, I'm not sure why. This is more like an Eden design than a Isa design, so I'm not sure why that is. But that's probably because we got the collection quite late. So I think Aryu got it. But this is an Eden, but I'm not sure on that. Next up we have another sealed omnificent core morpher. This is a core morpher to change your class uh, to any class for uh, 7 days without losing anything. So that's quite helpful to test out new things. And then we got the toy lovely spring. Although now Sarnot has no re seasons, its inhabitants still remember the time of wonderful flowering after the retreat of winter snows. Lovely Springs is replacing her sister Winter, not everyone gets a chance to witness such a miracle, but it does happen. You receive this for purchasing the Miraculous metaphor Metamorphosis and Magical Metamorphosis collection, so uh, it says in the, in the description as well. You need to have bought both at once to get the toy. Let's see here how the toy works. Uh, wardrobe toys. And then it's over here. It's a toggle, so it just switches you and transforms you into this thing. And you can move around with it. And you can probably do more funny shit with it, uh, that people will figure out how to bug. Alright, so then we're going to be covering what is the difference between pay-to-play and free-to-play in terms of the content. And as you can see, free server here is the free-to-play. So everything that has the one on this side is for free-to-play. Subscription, the same thing on the other side here. So both servers do get the package for the Dominion tools and the replicators, but only free to play gets the rune, obviously, because they don't, these don't exist on the free to play servers. It's a level 10 rune. Now it's a fragile one. Once you do notice that, um, fragile means it only lasts for a month. After the month, it converts into this amount of crystal chips. You can also instantly convert it into crystal chips. So this is basically at the end of the day crystal chips. But you can use a ten, level 10 rune. Um, slotted in your character for about 30 days. Both servers get a pet and also a looter that way. Only free to play gets the multipliers for your ice elixir. Uh, pay to play used to get it a long time ago but they have removed this because it was finally redeemed pay to win and because pay to play stands on the big pillar of no pay to win they have removed this from the collector editions which is a good thing. Uh, but free to play has to deal with this so they get these multipliers then pay to play does get mana batteries and memory modules as in free to play only it has them available via the cash up boutique and then pay to play players also get 30 days subscription time which is a fat bonus second collector edition the bigger one has two for both servers so that's cool then the free to play on this one gets a level 13 rune so that's quite big and then becomes 10,000 crystal chips after that month's period as well or instantly by right clicking it both servers also get the looter pet they both get the costume, but then the mount has a slightly different change. So like I showed in the video, um, pay to play gets the mount slash skin for the Wraith. Uh, free to play only gets the skin. So I want, this, I want you to notice here color pattern in the name. Pay to play doesn't have that, so... Free to play only gets the skin. If you want the mount, you're going to have to pay another 45 euros on top of the collector edition to get the mount. Holy mother of God. If you don't have the Wraith uh, mount yet, you'll just have to buy this. Uh, but most people have the Wraith already, so most will settle with just the skin. Uh, but that is what it is. Next up is the Relic Purification Manuscript. It does not exist on beta play because we don't have cursed items uh, that drop from dungeons. Free to play has to deal with cursed items, so they get a month free of uncursing these items, which is going to help you gear up faster, I believe, on free to play but it's not that beneficial in any way. 
both servers get a core mode to play, play around with the different classes. And then again, multipliers put in a bigger quantity for the free to play. Then again, Magna batteries and memory module for the pay to play, bigger quantity. And then another 60 days subscription time for pay to play. So that's a total of three months worth of subscription time as well in this full package deal. And then everyone obviously gets the title and the toy I've shopped. But yeah, that is everything there is in the collector edition. So quite a few things, a new costume, new mount, which is big, uh, two pets slash looter pets, a toy for buying both and quite some dominion tools uh, because yes, you also get two from the big one. So that is 60 dominion tools and 60 quadruple replicators. Uh, if you do get them, try to save the replicators for your guild keepers when you do guild keepers to get those boxes open with them and otherwise try to get them open on heroes insignias from compasses that are quite high to get. Alright, that is it. Hope you guys uh, know now whether it's worth your money or not. Uh, if you like this, then make sure to like and subscribe. A lot more information about collector editions and the past collector editions are also on my website, dragolots.com. The link will be in the description. The link to buy these collector editions will also be in the description. There is no affiliation with it. So whether you buy it without that link or straight via Alots is up to you. It doesn't benefit me in any way. And that is really it. Thanks guys for watching. See you next time. Have a good one.